Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a video that's been requested so many times over the past couple of weeks and months, and it is my review and first impressions of the new Lente Deet from Givenchy, their Eau de Parfum Rouge. I have been waiting for this to arrive and it has now arrived. So I'm gonna be giving you my first impressions, let you know how this differs to the others in the range. If you are new here, then I do have videos on the others in the range, more detailed ones, as long with hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos and if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support I really appreciate it and you can sign up to my newsletter in the description box and join the channel as a member and as always I will leave the link down below to where you can buy this perfume in UK Europe and North America so first impressions of the bottle is that you know it's beautiful the long deep bottles are really pretty it comes in this very deep dark red um, almost not red you know it's very very dark and all the branding and the advertising is um, using all of sort of fire and very sort of hot and it makes me think of um, a sort of spicy type fragrance and this does have spiciness in that we haven't seen in any of the other Lange Deep perfumes. So the original Lange Deep that I have here in a sample is a tuberose and orange blossom white floral jasmine patchouli. It's pretty good for lasting. It's very, very just white floral, sophisticated, classy smell. And the tuberose comes through, but the orange blossom really does come through as well, making it quite um, have a fresh feel to it, but it's still quite heavy and good for lasting. There's also a pear in there, which really lifts it. And then in the base, you've got some ambroxum, patchouli, vetiver, which really help it last. That patchouli really helps it last. And all the different flankers that they've released from Lange Deep so far have all had that very signature white floral vibe. They all obviously smell like a Lange Deep perfume. You know, sometimes flankers smell totally different to the original. So far, they've all smelled quite different, but with a twist. So the new Eau de Parfum Rouge does definitely have that signature Lange Deep smell. Tuberose really comes through, but the orange blossom has been removed and it's been replaced by something called Pimento Leaf, which is a little bit more greener and, and along with a ginger note that's been added, it adds a sort of slightly spicy oriental vibe to the fragrance. There's also a blood orange rather than the pear, but it doesn't smell citrusy or fruity at all. It really is the sharpness of a blood orange that's been added along with that sharpness of ginger. And the pimento leaf um, it's something that's used in actually sometimes like herbal medicine and stuff. It has quite a cinnamony, clovey, juniper, peppery vibe to it. So it's kind of like they've used all those different ingredients here. So it really does make it have that peppery spiciness, that orientalness that we haven't yet seen really in a Lance Deep perfume. Um, so I think this would be liked by someone that perhaps found the original and some of the flankers just too white floral. Someone that likes something a bit spicy. It's certainly warm. It's definitely for me an autumn winter fragrance, very cozy, very warm. But I personally don't wear spicy perfume, so it's not one that I would wear. But I can see that this will be very popular with people who want something that's spicy. Sometimes spicy coat perfumes can be a bit old fashioned. This is like a modern, spicy fragrance. My personal favourite from the Lange Deep range remains the Eau de Parfum Intense, the black one, because this one has all those white florals and then it has a really warm sesame note in it, which is just super cosy and comforting in the winter. Um, so this is my top recommendation personally from Lange Deep, though I do think that this new Rouge version is definitely a good one. It's long lasting, it's quality, it smells sophisticated it's just um, a spicy perfume which isn't to my personal taste so guys let me know if you've managed to try this yet what do you think of it I'd be interested to know if fans of the original Lente Deep like this because for me they're do two different types of fragrance so if you like your white florals you don't necessarily like spicy ones so for me this appeals to a slightly different um, group of people but yeah let me know what you think if you've managed to try it it's definitely Soki approved just not to my personal taste. And so that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. I'll leave the link to my other Lange Deep videos down below, but that's it. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!